Tonight, a big lawsuit facing Dominion Power. It all involves worries about the environment, and it has to do with the power plant along the Elizabeth River by the Gilberton Bridge. The Chesapeake Power Station ended operations three months ago. Then your side's investigator, Chris Horn, has a look at the plant, what it left behind, and who's worried the most, Chris? Tom, when the plant burned coal to generate electricity, that created fly ash. Dominion stored the fly ash on site, first in a pit, then when that filled up, in an above ground landfill. Environmental groups say that fly ash is leaching poison into the groundwater. Chopper 10 shows the Chesapeake Power Station right next to the Elizabeth River with Deep Creek nearby. For 60 years, until this past December, Dominion Virginia Power burned coal to make power. It stored the coal fly ash at the southern end of the property. Well, the Southern Environmental Law Center, on behalf of the Sierra Club, sued Dominion Thursday in federal court. SELC says the fly ash is leaching arsenic into the groundwater at dangerous levels. They continue to remain very high. Um, you know, for some of the monitoring wells, more than 30 times the standard. Arsenic is pretty much everywhere, but the Centers for Disease Control says high concentrations can lead to cancer. The lawsuit says the arsenic violates the Clean Water Act and could be dangerous to boaters and fish and other marine life. In a prepared statement, Dominion says it will fight the lawsuit. It read, in part, Dominion disagrees with the allegations and intends to vigorously defend itself against the lawsuit. Our closure plans are in full compliance with current environmental regulations and with EPA's recently announced coal ash regulations. As a result, these claims have no merit. Dominion's corrective action plan is called Monitored Natural Attenuation. It relies on the forces of nature to diminish the arsenic over time, but critics say it doesn't work. Which just means letting environmental natural processes take their course to try to bind up in arsenic um, and other pollutants and then is render that, them. Is that a realistic plan? No. No. Now, DEQ spokesperson Bill Hayden says the data is reviewed every quarter, but there's no timetable or even a benchmark for results. He says regulators look for a trend of progress. The lawsuit seeks unspecified damages. SELC says the real goal is to get the fly ash removed from the site. The company estimates there's nearly a million cubic yards of it on site. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.